Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so um, I've gone ahead and used some products that um, I wasn't like enthused about that have been sort of lurking around and I wanted to go ahead and test uh, them out and see how they're doing or how I can make them more my style. So that's kind of what I started with today. And um, as far as what I used under my base, I used the Milani Peach uh, Glass Primer and I also used the Lumi Glow Lotion from L'Oreal. So I went ahead and used both of these. And then as far as my base itself, I went ahead and used the L'Oreal um, Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation and this one's in rose, I or rose ivory. Um, what happened with this one was I just didn't like the way it looked on my skin and it does have an SPF of 50. I found that um, most of the uh, yeah foundations that have um, higher SPFs in them, I just don't like how dull they make my face look. And so um, I went ahead and added the glass primer and the uh, yeah and the glow lotion uh, to go ahead and try to beef this one up a bit and it did and so I think I found a way that at least I can go ahead and wear uh, this foundation because I love the fact that it has SPF 50 I just didn't like the way it looked on my skin so uh, definitely go ahead and use a glowy primer or a couple of glowy products underneath um, this foundation and you can rev it up a lot and then let's see as far as next uh, what I used on my face was the Ulta Beauty um, this is the Santorini uh, Place in the Sun and this is one of their um, baked palettes or baked face palettes basically it has bronzer on this side blush and then highlighter and so that's what I have on right there and um, went ahead and that's all I've used. I haven't used anything else as far as that goes. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more on my forehead here. So, cause I think it kind of wiped off. <laughs> and this is a great way if you have a high forehead to go ahead and minimize it a little bit you know if you put some bronzer um, right at the top of your forehead it'll go ahead and just uh, put it more in the shadow so you look like you have a shorter forehead and um, so that's a trick that I've always really appreciated and um, didn't really think about it until I didn't have bangs anymore and then all of a sudden I was like yeah that's <laughs> that's not quite right um, so this is what I went ahead and used for the face palette. And I used the Pretty Fresh uh, Concealer and this one's by ColourPop. Um, let's see, as far as products again that I haven't used a whole bunch, um, I picked up the ColourPop uh, Truly Madly Deeply a while ago and I had gotten it um, online at their website and it's a really pretty palette i know it's a huge seller over at um alta and last time i checked ColourPop, you can still get it but i um just haven't been using it and i thought i'd go ahead and get it out it does have three glitters on there uh with glitter be careful um it can get it in your eye and cause an infection so uh, usually, if I'm going to wear it at all, like um, this one, and I do like wearing them sometimes, I'll go ahead and put it up on um, my brow bone. Not that it's completely safe, but it's safer than putting it near the eyeball. And so, yeah, there are definite times when I like to have a little bit of glitter on there. Uh, I would just... Uh, just don't wear it every day because if you've ever had an infection and I did I had one on the side of my nose um, where there was uh, 
probably some makeup that had gotten caught in there. It's no fun and getting it drained sucks. So uh, be careful with glitter. And um, yeah, it does kind of suck when that happens. Um, as far as the rest of my eye look, I went ahead and used uh, this one. It's a green from ColourPop and it's a gel eyeliner. And then I went ahead and used the NYX, and this is uh, Thicket Stick It in Cool Ash Brown. And um, let me see what else I have here. Oh, the mascara. Uh, this is Essence Lash, or Lash Princess, and this one is the False Lash Effect. I like the effect that this one gives, but this is a very wet mascara. And so I've just sort of accepted the fact that anytime I use this, I'm going to be having to go back in with the concealer and go through it. And um, because it always, I always end up with little smudges down on the bottom when I'm applying it. And then I clean it up and it's good all day. Um, so I don't wear it as much as I do some of the other Essence mascaras. And um, the ones, the 18 hour mascara, is actually the one that I like because it has lengthening fibers in it. Um, but I wanted to get some use out of this, so we're using it. And as far as the way the eye look turned out, this way that that turned out. And as far as what I used on the eye look, um, I used this one on the inner corner. Uh, then I used this one, these two on the lid, this one on the lid, and then uh, this one on the outer lid. Um, so I incorporated a whole bunch of colors into this look. And now I've just added the glitter right here into the look as well. And with this look, it did go really shiny. And that's because I got out one of the powders that I haven't used in a long time. This is a FM um, from Wet n Wild. And these are still available over at um, Walmart, I guess you might have to go to a couple of Walmarts to find them, um, but they, um, they're they a glimmer powder, and so yeah, they definitely did uh, give me a lot of shine, um, shine and glow. With these, they're very dry, so even though your face looks glowy, um, it, it definitely isn't moist. It definitely sets down, and uh, they're just fun, especially in the summertime, to you know, go ahead and have a really glowy, fun look. And uh, the other product that I went ahead and got out was the NYX um, Cosmic Metals, and so this is what I have on my lips. I'll put some more on here. And I have, I really like this formula. And um, yeah, I was thinking about decluttering these, and I just said, no, I like it. <laughs> so um, haven't decluttered it, but um, again, just a really juicy kind of glow there. And I think that's about all that I used, but again, playing with some products that I haven't used in a long time and getting them out to see if they're still, you know, in good condition and pleased to report that they're all still working and nothing has dried up or gone weird or smells bad or anything like that. So, um, that's what the look is about today, and I hope that you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.